Hey there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Today I am working on a layout um, just for the fun of it. Uh, this I created during load, uh, which is layout a day, um, but I was totally off prompt. I just really wanted to scrapbook this picture. It's a picture of my grandson and my niece's little girl, and they're in the yard playing, but they're standing at the fence and they're looking back at us like they can't wait to escape. So I decided to use this stencil that looks like a chain link fence and I am using some Nuvo mousse and it's the silver one. I don't know the name of it but it is the silver one. <laughs> I don't know if that helps or not. If you need to know the name leave me a comment down below and I will certainly look that up for you. Um, so I start out on this black paper and I know I am going to put my photo on the left hand side kind of where that negative space is or that black streak is down between all of that mixed media and that's why I'm not really um, putting any mixed media in that particular area. I'm also going to use some strips of paper that are um, varying widths but they are all from uh, different Chamel collections. Nice and bright and um, lots of different color added in and then I'm going to have a little area to the far right here that is going to go off the edge of the page and that is going to kind of uh, be the third embellishment cluster area. So I have my Chamel scraps sorted by uh, cool colors and warm colors and the red folder obviously would be the warm colors and the blue folder would be the cool colors and that's all my Chamel scraps and if you're wondering why I keep them all separate, it's because most of my grandson's albums are done with papers from her collections. And uh, once in a while I add in additional stuff, but I want to kind of keep the same look and feel all the way through. And a lot of her collections you can mix and match them, so it works re really well. And it was, uh, my daughter really liked the Box of Crayons collection, so that's what kind of started it all. So, uh, yeah, I keep everything separate of Chamel products so that I can easily just grab it and work on his albums. Uh, sometimes I use it for other stuff too, but um, it makes it really easy for me. So I've trimmed this photo down to be a 3x4. And again, they're looking back like, oh my gosh, we can't wait to get out of here. Like, almost like they're stuck in the in the prison yard. <laughs> and so... Um, I am figuring out what strips I want to use and I know I want to mix things up and keep it bright and bold and um, I really like those colors against the black background but then I decide not to use the black background. Spoiler alert, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I decide to switch to white so uh, you're going to see that here in, the, in just a bit after I finish cutting apart all of these little strips. I know I want things that have um, vibrant colors and vibrant patterns on them. And you can see they're not all the same size, they're not all the same width, they're not all the same length. And I think it looks really good when it's all done. Um, the key is not to have anything too huge so that it takes up a huge block of the area. And you know, you can actually do this with papers that are all like the same length and then you can trim them down after you get your strips down. Um, or they can all be longer. You can just trim them down once they're already on the page and that would save you a lot of time trying to figure out which length they should be. And you kind of want it to look random. <laughs> or at least that's what the look I'm going for. I want it to have this random um, length, kind of like all the strips just fell there, and that's that's where they ended up. So this um, was done during layout a day, and I did not follow the prompt. I just decided I the prompt apparently didn't apply to me. Um, well, I couldn't figure out a way to make it to apply to me. I'm sure there was probably a way, but. Um, I decided I just really wanted to use this photo and so that's what I ended up doing. And these two little guys in this photo, they are not even two yet. 
um, my grandson just turned two in on Halloween, and um, this was taken, I think, in September, or maybe the very early part of, of October. So uh, on that right-hand side, I want to repeat a lot of the colors that are on the left, and so that is what helps me to decide what is over there. I know I want some red, some yellow, some blue, and some stripes. Now here is when I decide um, that I need to change my background paper because I want to use these navy blue thickers and they do not show up on the black very well at all. And what I'm doing is I am creating a title. I actually texted my daughter and said, what do you think I should make use for a title um, for this particular layout or this photo and um, she came up with it's a yard knock life so basically it's a play on it's a hard knock life for us but because they're in the yard we're calling it a yard knock life and so I am taking apart the thickers that are in I'm, I'm cutting them apart and making them say what I want them to say so I'm taking some K's off of other letters or off of other words and just putting them together and these foam thickers make it really easy to do that with a craft knife it's very simple and I don't mind that the font is mixed up I kinda like that it it lends itself to the more whimsical side of this particular layout and so this is where I decided that I wanted to just change the background and I actually like that anyway because in that black one I went really far to the right of the stencil which kind of made it come out to a point and in this one I kind of tried to stay away from doing that I wanted it more of a straight line I say that and then I go more to the right of the stencil but um, yeah I don't go quite as far out as the point of the stencil and I actually like how this silver looks on top of the white as well it works either way um, I am super impatient about doing the stippling and my hand was getting tired um, because I had just done it on the black and now here I am doing it again but um, yeah I, I did stick with it and I got it done and it's a little messy but uh, it doesn't bother me at all it kind of is, looks like it's supposed to be a bit messy because of the the topic and um, the strips of paper are kind of put down a little bit wonky. You can see I switched there to um, a different applicator and it's like this little marshmallow applicator that is supposed to work just as well but it doesn't. It doesn't have the same look or I just don't know how to use it right maybe. That could be as well but um, when I saw the mousse demoed at Expo years and years ago, the these little marshmallow things were what they were using. But um, yeah, I don't, I can't get them to work very well for me, so I don't recommend those. Um, also, that the brush that I'm using, the Vicky Booten st uh, stippling brush, it leaves hairs in the mousse, so it's not my favorite brush. Um, I am going to try the Tim Holtz ones and see if those ones are any better, but uh, I wasn't a huge fan of this Vicky Booten one that I have. And I do actually have one of the ones from Nuvo, but, um, or from Tonic, but I don't know that I've actually used it, so I'll have to try that one as well too. This is not a technique that I do often, so um, that would be why I probably don't do it as well, and I don't really know what to use to make it. Um, work the best for me. So there I've got my yard knock life down and I am going to do the rest of the title in these little silver thickers. Those are from Field Trip and it's going to say it's and it's a and then at the bottom it'll say for us so it's a it's a yard knock life for us is the complete title and uh, these little thickers you do have to add some glue to them to make them stick the blue foam thickers you do not have to add any any glue at all and I don't know if you saw there that all of those strips of paper were already glued down to the black and I just basically cut the black apart and moved them over to the white I did not take them off the black the black is still kind of under there I just kind of um, cut around it
Okay, I'm going to use the blue stars for some of my embellishments. Oh, look at that. My husband brought me ice cream. How sweet of him. <laughs> um, sorry about having my ice cream on the desk there while uh, you're watching my video. But um, yeah, <laughs> he brought me this ice cream and I guess I'm going to enjoy it right there on camera for you. <laughs> How awkward. <laughs> um, yeah, there. Yum. <laughs> So, uh, wow, now I'm really off track. So I decided to, I looked through the embellishments that I had for uh, the collections, the Chamel collections, and I pulled out the striped tags. And the reason I pulled those out is um, the stripes made me think of, like, prison suits. I mean, I know these days we don't have them in those colors. At least in California, they're like orange. But um, back in the day, I, or in movies maybe, I don't know, um, They, I recall them being striped. So I kind of like brought, wanted to bring that in. And I just thought it added to it and was a little bit fun. And then I used some navy blue rickrack as my um, fiber that's, uh, in the tag or on the tag and then I'm going to add another one to that star that's in the, on the upper the the uppermost star my goodness use some words there Janet um, <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing with the rickrack and what I did was I put the rickrack through the hole and then I use another piece of thread and you can see that there and I'm just going to tie it around the rickrack to hold it if I were to tie a knot in the rickrack it's very stiff and it doesn't like lend itself well to being tied. It kind of looks funky. So that is my fix for that. Um, and I, it, I like how it looks. It works out well. And then I'm going to add some enamel dots um, in navy blue. And I think that's pretty much going to do it for this layout. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, I did cut out a lot of my scooping up ice cream there for you. So again, my, apologi my apologies for being um, not so professional. Not that this is a professional video anyway, but you know, um, I wouldn't want to eat ice cream without you guys, so <laughs> uh, ignore it over there in the corner. Um, and I'm, oh, I'm going to go ahead and put some um, doodles around the outside just to kind of finish off the layout, and I do this frequently when I'm using a white background, either that or I like to stitch around it or put a little frame border around it with uh, another piece of cardstock. So that's going to pretty much do it. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below. I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, leave me a thumbs up or if you enjoyed this video and uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you are, thanks so much for uh, subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye.